I'm Father Michael Cassegram, monk of the Abbey of Gethsemane. I came here back in 1964 and have been here then for 54 years. Presently, I am serving as the prior of the community and also heading up the fudge department. It's one of the main sources of our income. Originally, I entered the community of Holy Cross Monastery in Virginia back in 1961. I wasn't there very long when I was asked to help with beekeeping. Well, uh, it was slow getting used to working with bees because I hadn't had any experience. But from the beginning, it's just something I took to and enjoy. As I learned to respect them and simply be in their presence, they're constantly uh, revealing to me uh, the love and the care of our Creator God. And, and mysteriously, they're revealing to me the tr Trinitarian life of God because they're in constant relationship with one another. And I, I'm finding more and more as I relate to the bees and respect their own means of communication, the dynamics of their hive, they simply let me be there. These days I go and work with the bees. I hardly ever wear the gear, the, the face mask or any protection. A lot of beekeepers will have gloves and be all geared up. I, I, I don't do that. I find if I'm respectful of them, they're respectful of me. There are things which I can do. They've lost their queen or they need to be fed some sugar water. It's almost as if they, they know I'm not there to, to harm them, but to, to work with them, to improve the conditions in which they live. And I say, they're, they're a constant reminder of community life and even of the gospel. In scripture, they've, they've always been a symbol of generous labor on behalf of others for the good of the colony. And it speaks to me, I say, of the divine community. And it, it speaks to me of how we are made to be in relationship with one another, with the larger community, uh, with God primarily. But God is this intricate, source of communion. As I reflect on community life and you know what the bees are telling me, we're made for that. We're made for this kind of continue and loving communication. We all have wonderful gifts to share. And if, if, we, if we're in this loving communion, we'll use our gifts for the good of those around us. Honey is often put on toast in the mornings or mixed with tea. And I think this is a wonderful symbol of life in community, which is so much about grace and gift. We are to share God's own sweetness and then let that sweetness overflow into the lives of our sisters and brothers.